hey everyone previously i was working on the same question and right now i got a better solution for the same problem which was a little upgraded version and i think it's the one of the best version um, one of the best solution for the same select field op option based on the previous select box selection what a weird question okay let's start this so what i was doing let's first go to the w3 score remove extra material from the code let's run it it's blank right now now i have just created a small code i have copied it down and then just run it so it's showing support feedback okay since the display is none so right now nothing is visible now I'm adding a JavaScript code right now so here I am just using a JavaScript code nothing else in the previous video I was using the JavaScript and jQuery so this is much smoother and much better video so I will just click on it run and now if I click on the how, how, how can I help you and then go to the support then I got the option of technical and non-technical okay now if I click on the feedback then it's doing the same so for a better view let me just show you a much more greater view of how it's working I hope you like this video this is a just a small video and I think it will be wonderful because it's like working in a better way and you can get get you have you get the option to select both of them so if you want a small I will just show you a small glimpse on how it's working like if you change the value as you click and change the value like if I go from how can I help you to support then it's call a function which is on change once the function will be called on change then it will go to the on change show div so it will go to the function show div and what it's taking it's taking div div which which div this div okay id div okay now it's not saying that we are taking this div now we will get the values like what 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 are the values one and two so the values would be saved as this will be sent through this and then if you click on the if you see that here we are receiving prefix prefix is basically div and the chooser is basically the value one or two okay now if you select option you have to use this line to getting the option choose dot option chooser dot select index dot value okay and then if the selection option is two then you will get the then you will simply use document dot get element by id then you get the div and then you will use div dot style dot display and then you can simply display it you can simply display it otherwise else you can see we will using we are using the same thing but in this part we are using none so if we switch it back to the feedback then it will show nothing 
and i can even show you much more example like how it working but currently that will be much more enough for you that that is this is much this is enough for you and i hope you like the video thank you so much and if you want if you are looking for the code comment down the comment comment down below and i will create a small i will create a okay i will share a small link i think i have right i have created history jquery i have added a small solution of how it's working so i think you like the solution yes so i'll just share the link okay share so i will share this stack overflow of the link and i hope you enjoy the video thank you so much